Hi, Code Monkey here. You know, one of the things I really love about Phaser is being able to use physics. Years ago, when I was using other programs, other languages such as Flash, I would have to like look up how to do trigonometry and different collisions. And Phaser allows us to use these physics engines, and it makes everything much, much simpler. And today I'm going to be talking about one of the basics of physics, and that's gravity. So let's get started. Code Monkey, get up, get coffee. Code Monkey, go to job. One of the great things about Phaser is the physics engines that you can use with it. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use gravity on an object. I've set up a utility template here, and I've made another video about this. If you're curious about the utility template, I'll put it up at the top there, the link. And it's a free download from phasergames.com. And I've got two images that I've already gone ahead and preloaded in here, a ball and a block. And the first thing we need to do is to set up the game for physics. And we do that in the config object of our game right after scene here. I'll put the new property physics and we need a default engine in there. And we're going to use arcade. And then we can put an arcade property in there that is an object and has one property in it, debug true. And what this is going to do, the debug true is going to put boxes around any object with physics and it'll show you the velocity and the hit area of that object. And if you like, you can just copy this from the physics snippets over on phasergames.com. Now normally to add in a sprite, we would say this add sprite. But because we're using physics, we need to add it to the physics of the scene instead. So this physics add sprite and I'll put it up at the top in the middle and we can say game config width divided by two we'll put it in the center and if you're using a game that doesn't have game as a global variable in it you can say this sys game dot config width divided by two if you're inside of a scene and we'll put it at zero for the y and the key being ball and we'll put that on a variable there. Let ball equals this physics add sprite. Let's have a look. And there it is. And to set gravity on it, we simply say ball set gravity y. And you can set an x gravity on it as well, which might be useful in like some space games and such. But for any games that are taking place on good old planet Earth, you're just going to want to deal with the y gravity. And we'll set that to 100 and refresh. And there it goes. As you see, it starts off moving slow and then it picks up speed as it goes down. Now let's give it something to hit. Let ground equals this physics add sprite. And we're going to put that at zero for the X because we want to put it all the way over to the left hand side. We'll make this go all the way across. And we'll put the Y near the bottom. This SYS game config height times 95%, 0.95. And block then for the key. And we'll make the display width the same as the width of the game. Now there is a bit of a problem because the block only extends out here to the side because the origin is set at 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So if I'm putting it at 0, half of that sticks over. Now normally we would want to change the origin on that, but with physics we can't. Because if I say ground set origin and 0, 0, although it will look right with debug on, you can see that the hit area is still here where the purple line is. So that's not going to work. So I'll take that off. But what we can do is simply then place that in the middle of the screen. Here I can just copy this. This SYS game config width divided by 2. And there, it's all set. And for some reason, it's not quite going over here to the edge. I'm not sure why since we set the block size the display width to the same width as the game. But we can fix that simply by saying config width times 1.1. Now, as you notice, though, the ground and the ball are not colliding. We need to set up a collider for that. And that's over here with the snippets as well, or you can just type it out. Set collider. This physics add collider 
and you can do it between a sprite and a group or two sprites or two groups. And we want to add a collider between the ball and the ground. And there, now they collide. But of course the problem is the ball is pushing the ground out of the way because the physics, the velocity of the ball, is then transferred to the ground. But we don't want the ground to move. And there's a bit of code for that, set immovable. So if we say ground set immovable, it won't move and the ball should rest there. There we go. That's how you make gravity work against the ground in Phaser 3. And I'll be using this in another video that I'll be doing to show you how to make the ball jump on a timer. And I'll put a link to that here after that video is ready. I hope that this has been useful to you. And thank you for watching.